welcome to lesson 56 of your year one phonics program. My name is Ashley and I'm very happy that you're joining me today. So shall we get started? Let's have a look at our homework from last lesson. Hmm, looks like you were learning about adverbs. Remember, adverbs are when we add the suffix li to the end of a word. It changes it to an adverb. It describes the verb. Let's do some reading. I can run quickly. Did you get that one? Well done. I can eat slowly. Slowly. I can eat slowly. It's good to eat slowly. We can smile brightly. Can you smile brightly? I hit the drum loudly. Oh, don't do that. Mum and Dad might not like that. Now, the last part of your homework was to change a word and make a silly sentence. Read mine. I can smile slowly. Shall we try that? Ugh, I don't like that. Let's smile quickly. Oh, that's much better. Well done. I hope you enjoyed doing that homework. Shall we get started with some phonological awareness? We're going to try something a little bit different today. We're going to play a game called Switch It. Are you ready? Okay, I'm going to use these coloured counters to represent phonemes, the sounds that we hear. Are you ready? So I'm going to build the word swim. Swim. Four phonemes. Four counters, here we go. Let's tap those phonemes, ready? Swim, good job. Now let's Change swim to slim. Swim. Slim. Which phoneme do we need to change? Slim. You're right. Let's take out w. Change it to u. Slim. Slim. Well done. Next word, change slim to slip. Did you hear what changed there? Slim, slip. Last phoneme, slim, change m to p. New word, slip. Good job. Now change slip. To skip, skip, skip. Hmm. Slip, skip, skip. <clears throat> Good job. Okay. Next one. Change skip to snip. Ooh. Skip. Mm, you heard it. Change the k to n. Snip, snip. Well done. Great listening. Okay, I'll get my board ready and let's get started with our lesson. So let's start with some definitions. What have we been learning about so far? A schwa is a vowel sound that is spoken without any stress. A syllable is a beat in a word and always has a vowel sound. Ah, an open syllable is when the vowel is open. There is no consonant closing it in. A closed syllable is when the vowel is closed in by a consonant or two. The vowel is short. A verb is the action part of a sentence. It tells us something is happening 
or the state of something. And an adverb describes a verb. She ran quickly. I ate slowly. Good job. Now, let's look at some graphemes we've learnt. E at the end of a word. Trigraph, I-G-H, I. Y at the end of a one-syllable word, I. Or E at the end of a two-syllable word, happy. I. Or. O, second sound, ow. E, first sound. Second sound, A. Long sound, A. Short sound, A. Long sound, I. Short sound, I. Long sound, O. Short sound, O. Long sound, U. Short sound, A. I, at the end of a word. E. Oh, this was that tricky one. Do you remember? So like a split digraph, I, like type. Split digraph, O. Oh, and our suffix you learn. L-Y means like or how. Well done. Gee, you're doing really well with your graphemes. Shall we look at some of those irregular words we've learnt? Oh, that's not so irregular anymore. Thursday, two, four, Wednesday, Wednesday, because, about, did you hear that schwa? About, Sunday, today, money, remember the O makes the up sound, Friday, honey, oh. Saturday, Tuesday, Monday. Goodness, you've learned so much. Shall we practice some words that contain the graphemes you've been learning? Right, let's do some reading. I'll choose a purple pen today. Right, oh, you've been learning the long I sound, haven't you? Let's get ready to read. Hmm, I, T, A, uh, fighter. P, I, pie. Hmm, looks like two vowel sounds here. So I'm going to try this as the open syllable I first. T, I, G, U, uh, S, tigers, tigers. I think that sounds good. Ready to read them a little bit quickly? Fighter, pie, tigers. One more time. Fighter, pie, tigers. Excellent. Next line. Oh, two syllables, two vowels, two syllables. Let's try this as the open syllable I. P, I, U, O, T, pilot. Do you remember when we flex those sounds, those vowel sounds, to see what makes sense? Pilot, pilot. Mm -hmm. That O makes the schwa sound. Pilot. Sp, I, D, E, E, spidery, spidery. Ooh, that's a scary word. D, I, die. <gasps> I've got a story about a stick insect I can tell you in a minute about that. Let's read them a little bit quickly. Pilot. Spidery die. One more time. Pilot, spidery die. Last line. Hmm. Split digraph. Mm, I, n, mine. 
It's mine. Oh, looks like another one. Like. I'm going to underline that as a suffix, Lee. Likely. It's likely we're learning a new grapheme today. Likely. Last one. Oh, two vowels, two syllables. Rival. That doesn't, no, the, I don't know that word. Rival. Ugh. Flex that vowel. Rival. Ooh, that's a good word. We'll talk about that one. Ready to read? Mine. Likely. Rival. One more time. Mine. Likely. Rival. A rival is like an enemy. Someone you just don't agree with. Hmm. A rival. I don't think I have a rival, which is probably a good thing. I don't want a rival. And die. I looked after my sister's stick insects on the weekend and one of them, he died. Don't tell my sister. I just put a stick in and drew some eyes on it. She'll never know. So we've done some reading. Let's do some writing. Right. You go and get a pencil and something to write on and I'll meet you back here ready to do some writing. See you in a bit. Great, you've got your pencil and something to write on. Maybe you've got a whiteboard. Okay, are you ready? Today we're going to be practicing those long I graphemes. So at the top of your page, I want you to write I-E, pi, trigraph, I-G-H, I in the middle of a word, often followed by T, or sometimes at the end of a word. Split digraph, E, <clears throat> and open syllable, I. Remember, it will be at the end of a syllable. Right, ready to write your first word? The first word is, oh, it's not a great word, die, d, i, d, i, die. You're right, it's i-e at the end of a word, d, i, d, i. Does your word look like mine, die? Give it a tick if it does, and just fix it up if it doesn't. Next word, delight. Oh, I smiled with delight when I heard I was going to be your teacher today. Delight. Oh, sounds like that might have an open syllable E in there. Let's have a look. D E L I T. Five phonemes. D E L I T. I t delight d e d light first syllable d no consonant there open syllable e d i t I remember that word delight delight. I hope you felt delight when you wrote that word. Next word, bike, b i k. Hmm. Now I know. I think there's an e on the end of that word. I'm going to use split digraph. Bike, b i k, b b. Bike. Bike. Pretty happy with that. Give it a tick. Last word. Direct. Direct. We need to go direct to the shop to buy milk. We've run out. Direct. Direct. Hmm. I could hear die in there, but it's two syllables, direct. So I think in direct, the open syllable I makes that I sound. Oh, let's, I'll count the phonemes over here. D, I, 
Direct. Direct. Ooh, it's a big one. Let's write that first syllable. Direct. 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 First syllable. Die. Wrecked. Did your direct look like mine? I'm going to give myself a big tick and a happy face. I love spelling. Good job. Okay. Are you ready to find out what we're learning today? I think Miss Simone might have left us something here as a clue. Shall we have a look? Okay. Oh my goodness. It's a beautiful snow cave. Oh, I wonder who lives there. It'd be a bit cold, wouldn't it? Oh, there's something else in here. O something E, O, E, O, split diagram, O. O, W, O, blow. I think Miss Simone's left us a little clue about our lesson today. Should we have a look at what else she's left us? Hmm, ah, she has. This is our new graphing today. We're learning O A O soap. Shall we write that in the air? Are you ready? O A soap O. And again, O A soap O. One more time. O A soap O. I'm just going to leave this on the board to remind us what we're learning today. Let's do some blending before we start reading today. Are you ready? All of these words contain our new graphene, OA, soap, O. Are you ready? Grasshoppers, stand up, ready for your kung fu. Get ready to punch out those sounds. First word, soap. Soap. Ooh. Soap, soap, boat, 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 loan, 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 loan. Last word, toast, toast. 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 Well done. Shall we read some words? Help me find our new graphing in our words. Okay, ready to get reading? Hmm. There's our new graphene, O A O. Can you see O A O in these words? It makes the phoneme O, long O. Look at my lips, nice and rounded O. Okay, ready to read? Here we go. T O D, toad. R O M. Oh, I know that as a suffix. I'll put two lines under it. R -o -ing. Roaming. Roaming. Oax. Hoax. Let's read that line again. Toad. Roaming. Hoax. Again. Toad. Roaming. Hoax. Next line. G -r -o -n. Groan. Ugh. Groan. Roast. Roast. Float. Float. Ready to read? Groan. Groan. Roast. Roast. Float, float. 
groan, roast, float. Last line. Here we go. M o t, moat. T o st, e, toasty. T o st, e, toaster. Re ready to read? Moat, moat. T o st, e, toasty. Toast, a uh, toaster. Good reading. Hmm. There's a few interesting words in here. I bet you haven't heard of this one. I want you to read the word that means you're playing a trick on someone. Maybe you're pranking them. Look in the first row. Toad. Mm -mm. Roaming. Mm -mm. Hoax. Mm -hmm. A hoax means you're, you're playing a joke on someone. Hoax. Hmm. Another one. There's two words in here that are rhyming. They rhyme with goat. I'll give you a clue in these last two lines. Did you read float and moat? Good job. A moat is a, like a little lake around a castle to stop enemies. Or oh, what was that word? Rivals. To stop rivals jumping and, and getting into the castle and capturing the king and queen. Moat. I hope we get to use that one again today. Good reading. Shall we do some spelling? Let's move OA from our short-term memory into our long-term memory. Writing is so good for that. Right, ready to write? Mm, that sounded funny, right, ready to write? Okay, here's our grapheme we're practicing today. OA, O. Our first word is foam. F-O-M, three phonemes. O, M. Mm. First phoneme. I'm writing the grapheme F. F. O, M. Mm. Foam. I'm giving myself a tick. I'm pretty happy with that. Next one. Gloat. G. Gloat. Four phonemes. Gloat. I like to gloat about my amazing spelling. Gloat. Gloat means to show off a bit. Come on, show off with me. Show everyone your writing. G. U. O. T. G. U. O. Gloat. If I took off the gl, oat is at the end of my word. Gloat. Let's gloat. Oh, my spelling is so good. So proud of myself. Next word. Coach. K -o -ch. Coach. Hmm. I'm like a bit of a coach, aren't I? I'm coaching you in your reading and writing. Coach. Three phonemes. O ch. Oh, I know that's the digraph. C H. K. O ch. Coach. Tick or fix if it doesn't look like mine. Foam. Gloat. Coach. Well done. All right. Shall we learn a new irregular word today? I think you're ready for it. Right, ready for our irregular word? The word is 20. 20. That's a number. Twenty. Twenty. It's actually not that tricky for you because you know at the end of a two syllable word, 20, Y makes the E sound. Shall we write it? 
just to move it from here into our long-term memory. Let's go. T, u, e, n, t, e. Ooh, six phonemes. T, u, e, n, t, e. T, u, e, n, t, e. 20. Do you remember a few lessons ago, we looked at the number two? I'll write it here for you. Two. And we talked about things to do with two have this TW. So this will remind you that 20 has something to do with two. 20. Two tens. 20. Two tens. Twin. Ah, oh, I think that's the clue. 20. Right. That wasn't so tricky after all. Okay. Ready to do some reading? Let's go. Ready to practice our new grapheme in our fluency passage today? Let's just scan quickly and see if you can help me find our new grapheme O, O, A, O. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's another one. Oh, and another one. Okay, we can do this. This isn't too hard. Ready to read? Here we go. My dad coaches, coaches my footy team. Let's go back and read that sentence. My dad coaches my footy team. There are eight. Oh, that we learnt that in a few lessons ago. There are eight players players on the field field for each team. Let's go back and read that sentence. There are eight players on the field for each team. My dad, ready? Gloats, gloats when we win. I try not to boast. Let's read that from the top. My dad coaches my footy team. There are eight players on the field for each team. My dad gloats when we win. I try not to boast. Why do you think dad gloats when his team wins? My team's the best. Oh, we're the best. We're amazing. Hmm. But the person in this story says they try not to boast. Hmm. I think there's a good word for that. It means you're being humble. You don't like to show off in front of people. I think I like this person. They sound pretty good. All right. Let's get this down and do some dictation. Okay. Ready to write? Remember, we're practicing our new grapheme, O A O soap. Listen carefully. My throat hurts. I moan 20 times. Mm, they sound a bit annoying. Ready? Listen again. My throat hurts. I moan 20 times. Uh. Right, how many words in that sentence? My throat hurts. Ooh, I think there's a full stop there. I moan 20 times. Seven words, easy, we've got this. My throat hurts. What hurts? My throat. Capital letter. Mm, I throat. Throat. O T. My throat hurts. Hurt. Hurt. Full stop. My throat hurts. So what do I do? I moan twenty times. Capital. 
I m o n m o n twenty twen t think about your syllables twen t times times I think I'm going to put an exclamation mark there that sounds terrible. Let's read it. My throat hurts. I moan 20 times. Ugh. That sounds terrible. Right. So let's review what we've learned today. Today we learnt the grapheme OA soap O. Get ready to write. Here we go. O A soap O. O a soap o last time o a soap o great work today you're really coming along with your reading should we look at our homework oh i love this homework i love reading and choosing what word fits into the sentence have a quick look mm, here we go my nan, something about her, something. Hmm, here's all our words that we can use. My nan boasts about her coach. Hmm, not sure about that one. How about you have a look at this and think about what words fit in these sentences. We shriek on the roller. Roast, the something had a saw. Hmm? Read and see what word makes sense in these sentences. And I'll check your work tomorrow. So we've worked hard enough. I think after your, you finish your homework today, go and have a great break. Enjoy the rest of the day and I'll see you next time. See you later, alligator.